We take aircraft that land on this ramp and we move them to the combatant commanders as quickly as possible. This has turned into uh, way, way more than that uh, because we're also bringing aircraft back home after they've uh, been in a deployed location for, for many, many months as well. These missions not only are important uh, for the combatant commanders, but they're important for us as well. And we tie our base and our squadron into some of the biggest operations in the world by supporting these kinds of missions. Retro 5-6, Lodge approach, catch your clear, set request. The most essential thing that we do is provide uh, a safe way to get in and out of the airport. And being here at Lodges, the weather changes rapidly. So if it was sunny and shiny, then it'd probably be easy for them to come in on their own. But that's not how air traffic works. You know, one of the big differences here at Lodges uh, to some of the other bases is we have civilian and military aircraft. So when a Cornet comes in, we have to integrate the two military and civilian as well as our mission here from the Portuguese Air Force, which is a medical mission. So again, prioritizing. Uh, and that's a job of an air traffic controller. It's not just safe to be aircraft, but effectively and efficiently working to make sure the right people get to the ground and off the ground safely and quickly. We push iron to the fight. For the most part, this is a fairly slow base for air traffic, but when we're needed, we're definitely needed. I don't think I could put a number on how many people come together to, uh, to put a cornet together because it's, it's everybody. I mean, you know, they're marshaling the jet or refueling the jet. I mean, it's, it's everybody all the way down to, uh, to cooking and fiddlers in here. One of the first things that they ask is, does OSS still provide uh, your family style meal when we arrive and I don't know how long the tradition's been going but OSS has been doing it for a long time. When they get off the aircraft we meet them with a smiling face you know and uh, what usually happens is one shop from OSS will cook for those guys and usually we're all in here you know conversating with them and just ask them how they're doing if they need anything and uh, and we've we've never had a complaint. It's a good uh, stopover point for us and much needed but uh, I've only been in here twice, but this is the second time. The first time was awesome, and, and so far this has been great too, all the hospitality you guys have provided. The little things count, and you guys are uh, hitting that for sure, uh, even in this smaller base, but very critical base. Fuel, passengers, cargo, everything comes in and out of here. It's, it's a transatlantic bridge, and that's why we're here. Our lo Portuguese local nationals do 100% of our runs, so they're taking the trucks out there, putting the fuel on them, and uh, making sure these guys are getting up in the air, making sure they have clean, dry, serviceable fuel, and making sure that the mission happens. At POL, we always say, without POL, pilots are pedestrian. So we are, we are what get them in the air. Combined with all those other factors, but yet you can't get a plane in the air without fuel. I find the job kind of rewarding. Uh, and when they arrive, uh, being able to host them, uh, especially a unit that's been deployed for six months and can be going back home. And then the day that they finally leave, when it all comes together and we see the aircraft take off, is uh, pretty rewarding to me. Everyone that I've ever talked to has been uh, thrilled to be a part of what goes on on the runway and the flight line out here. Uh, from the wing commander to the lowest ranking person on the base. Everyone who talks to me about our mission is fired up to be able to support it. And you know that's, that says a lot about not just the squadron, but it says a lot about the base and the goodness that exists here. <laughs>